Good morning. Good morning. It's Monday. Um, this is what, look at this. Can you see this? I got zits going on up here and that's because it's been warm out and I've been hot flashing like crazy and then the sweat sits there and so I might be 48 years old but I get acne still and it's stupid. I think after having cancer I shouldn't have to have acne anymore, right? Am I right? No. <laughs> anyway, good Monday morning to you. I hope you have some really strong coffee in your cup. Um, I am drinking Thomas Hammer, imagine that, Starry Night Sumatran, bold, thought I'd bring it with me so I could read it correctly. Um, plus I brewed it on the darkest um, one, so less water, even though, because I have a little bit left in my cup from my first cup. Sorry, I didn't share my first cup with you guys today. Sorry, sorry. Not sorry. <laughs> sorry, not sorry. Um, anyway, so I did it on the strongest one, so it can be really bold. I've added Ghirardelli dark chocolate syrup and a splash of Irish cream and some half and half and yummy, yummy. Got my workout in, got my shower in, got to make my lunches still and get ready for work, but uh, happy Monday. I'm feeling better, obviously. Um, I did a workout Saturday morning and I lifted weights and I think it helped me a lot. I was still sore and I still had to take ibuprofen and then yesterday was a rest day, um, but I didn't rest. We did so many things this weekend. We did new things. We went and checked out the uh, local Kiev market, so that's the Russian market and um, pretty cool. They had a lot of really cool things in there that I never would have uh, thought of. And of course, nothing I could really read, but we found some hollow bread for my son. He loves it. And um, some dark rye, and it was really reasonably priced. So I picked up a loaf of dark rye. I don't eat a lot of bread, but rye, dark rye is one of the better red breads for you if you're gonna eat it. So I'm looking forward to having a sandwich with that today. So um, and I gave half of the loaf to my son, so we don't have a whole lot of bread in the house. Um, and so we did that Saturday and I worked at the blue door that night and that was fun and we laughed. It was great. And they did before it's in movies or before it's in theaters. And that's really awesome because they just show you the movie poster and read to you what it's about. And then the audience votes on which one they want to see. And then we watch the trailer and then everybody improvs off of what they think the movie's going to be because of the trailer. And so then they act it out for about 15 minutes and you do a couple movies. And the last movie was called, I kid you not, The Love of Water. And it's about a deaf woman, no, mute woman, who falls in love with a fish man. And it will probably win many, many Oscars. It's got some people that are known and it's done by Guillermo del Toro, who did Hellboy. So it's definitely going to have a, a fan base for sure, but it just was uh, um, it was great. So the show was great. They did an awesome job and the movie, I'll probably watch it when it comes out <laughs> so, so, <laughs> just to see how spot on they were. No. Um, and it, you can tell it's full of symbolism and racism and stuff like that. You can tell by the way the movie's set up. So it'll probably win awards and stuff. Uh, let's see what else. So, um, so I worked the blue door. We went to the Kiev market on Saturday and then Sunday, um, kind of had a bombshell from my son and I'll share more about that later because I'm still processing it, but it's going to be okay. It's all good things. Um, just a lot of last minute stresses. <laughs> so get that going on. Uh, and my husband and I, we finally checked out the Asian market. It's only like two blocks from here. Um, but every time we walk by to go to casual Friday donuts, it's closed because we're at the donut shop early in the morning and they don't open until like noon. Um, so we get in there and we ended up buying, I bought some mild kimchi and it was so good, but it's still spicy. And we picked up these little crab dumplings. And so last night I grilled salmon on the barbecue and served those dumplings and the kimchi with it. Of course, my husband didn't eat the kimchi. Didn't like the smell of it either, but oh well. Um, it was really good. It was really good. We'll definitely go back. Definitely feel more comfortable in there. And it was really funny that they were playing uh, Christian worship music in there too. So that was kind of awesome in English because they were just listening to 104.9. So it was kind of funny. Um, and they had like uh, posters all over about the local um, 
I think it was the Korean Baptist Church or something. I don't know. Anyway, so it was kind of cool, all the different foods. They have all these frozen fish and octopus and squid and uh, amazing things that I would never, you know. And Keith's like, I think you think we're going to start changing our eating habits and we're going to start having a lot more of this type of food in our lives. I said, absolutely. You know, you always watch like Rachel Ray and she's like, oh, you can get such and such at your local Asian market. Well, I never really lived anywhere that had a local Asian market until I moved here. And so I love the uh, diversity of the foods and stuff I get to try. I've always had access to Mexican food and Mexican markets because of where I lived in Arizona. Um, and we have that up here still, but gosh, now I have a Russian market and there's a, there's a Jewish market in town and there's also now the Asian market and stuff. So um, being exposed to different cultures via food and cooking is awesome. And just being, I have to say, being exposed to other cultures by living here is awesome because uh, it's just so neat what you can learn from all these different cultures and stuff. So it's pretty amazing. Um, so like I said, my hands and everything are starting to feel a little bit better, feeling stronger today. Uh, I'm going to start melting again on a regular basis. I think that's a big help too because it helps with the arthritic pain, which is the side effect of this med. Um... It's Monday. I can't believe it's Monday already, but it's okay. Life is good. Uh, I have energy today. I worked out, like I said, and have my good coffee in my hand. And um, oh, don't ever take my coffee from me, please. <laughs> so, I, uh, I used to get my coffee in the mail because I had a different machine and I could only order things online to get it mailed. And it would do what they call sure post, and it would go in between either UPS or go parcel post, which is the post office, and um, because it's too big, they couldn't deliver, they wouldn't deliver it to um, my door, which was dumb, um, so they wouldn't put it in there, they would tell me I had to come pick it up, and then of course they would drop it off at a post office that's only open like Monday through Friday, and then Saturday morning for like a three hour period, and I'm just like, I told them, don't, don't you ever send it through parcel post again. I don't care if it's your post. You need to only do it UPS and have it dropped at my door. Do not come between a girl and her coffee. So, <laughs> so anyway, sorry, I keep whining you guys with that light behind me. Uh, anyway, happy Monday. Happy fingers. My hands are doing better. Thank you guys for your prayers and positive thoughts. And I am going to try some of that CBD cream. I think a friend's going to pick it up for me. Um, yay. Life is changing. Change is good, right? Yes. All right. Love you guys. May your coffee be as hot and strong and bold as you are. Love you. Bye.